guess. It all need cleaning. I haven't cleaned it in a while. Somebody. Well, guess what? I got my iPad right here. You had something to say? Bella. Oh, okay, Bella. Okay. Trying to get a good stare around. Was makeup already scheduled for 6 a.m., Bella? And does she know 6 a.m.? We using the makeup artist out here named Tanel. She's super dope. Um, hit me on the uh, phone. My my um iPad is right here, so I can see your response, Bella. Is makeup coming at six in the morning? And no, we didn't discuss anything else. So I need to know what you told her because that was probably the last thing. Um, you know. See, that's what I'm saying. Your ass on Instagram live and they hit me back. What you mean you, oh, wait a minute, what? Wait a minute. Yeah, 6 a.m. Okay, 6 a.m. All right, so what else y'all want to talk about? I love you too. How long you been rocking that hairstyle? Actually, for years. Uh, since I was a child. My mom used to do my hair like this when I was a child. She did all kind of funky little braid styles and I still have pictures of it. Um, as a child, my mom was really, really creative with all my hairstyles. So she did this years, 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 years ago. She actually used to do her hair like this. She would make big long ones and make big spaces. And I just thought it was super cute and I used to love when she did mine like that. So as I got older, you know, I started wearing braids all the time which is a protective style, which I learned from my baby. And because I didn't want to be doing my hair every single day. Like when I was in high school, you had to get up, curl the bang, curl the this and do the that. Like ain't nobody got time for that. I want to sleep them few extra hours and then take my ass to school. Um, I keep doing this to my glasses because they broke. The screw came out of these. This is pretty much going to be it for these Tom Fords, I think. But I have like seven new pair of glasses that are getting the tints changed for me because I don't like the plant. You know, I always like to change my tint so they just look different than anybody's glasses. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, we talked about the hairstyle. So, yeah, so I've been wearing this hairstyle for years. I switch it up between this, one ponytail, two ponytails, braids, braids, braids. Because I have a very busy life and I don't have time to be getting my hair done every single day. So this is perfect for me. You know, you can do whatever with it. You can make two ponytails. Thank you, Ebony. You can make two ponytails. <laughs> you can pull it up into one ponytail. Have a cute little ponytail. I like it when it's up. Because it makes a really cute ponytail. Put the little thing on it. And I might wear it up tomorrow. So you can see all my colors. I love colors. <laughs> my baby loves colors. I met my match. A lot of people don't know. I think pink is my favorite color now. It used to be burnt orange for a long time, but it was never like black or like a dark, ugly color. I think people got me fucked up thinking I'm like goth or some shit. No, I love pretty panties, pretty bras. Like, yes, bitch. <laughs> I am not a hemp. Okay, nothing wrong with people who are, but that is not me. So this new project that I'm working on, I got a new project coming out. First single drop of tomorrow is called TikTok. I'm doing it all independently. Um, the album that's coming out is called Best of Both Girls. Um, it's kind of showing you the diversity of me. Um, half is about, um, half is kind of like R&B-ish. You know, no, I'm not singing. I'm singing a little bit on one song, but not like, oh, yeah. Not like I'm really trying to sing or whatever, but I'm having fun with it. It's my project. I get to do what I want to do. Um, I think people that hear it are going to love it, and they're going to enjoy it. And the other half is The Brat. So it's like Shawnee versus The Brat. My real name is Shantae. My nickname is Shawnee. So um, 
Shani versus the Brat. Um, best of both girls. And one half is going to be more R&B-ish. And the other half is going to be all rap. And on the R&B-ish half, I'll be um, sprinkling a few ad-libs and a few verses on each song, definitely. The main thing of the whole project is that I write my own shit. I write all my own shit. And I don't just write raps. So... I've been trying to get the world to know that for a long time, but once you get put in a box, it's hard to get out of that box. Like, people always identify me as a rapper. And I, I'm cool with that, but I'm also an actress. I'm a writer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a producer. Like, I'm an executive producer of TV shows and music. Like, I, <laughs> I do a lot of stuff, so I don't like that one hat or that one trick pony symbol thing, whatever, stereotype. I hate that. So, yeah, this is to show people that I am a prolific, goddammit, a prolific writer. <laughs> so, um, you know, I grew up in church. You know, most of us black kids grew up in churches, a sanctified church at that, where music was it, you know, the way that people sang from their toes. My granny was saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in Jesus' name. You couldn't say it no other way. Pentecostal, apostolic, <laughs> and my family. My family was too on my mama's side. So you know I was at church 24-7. Me and Ty Tribbett, we used to be at the conventions, going back and forth, exchange, you know, back and forth on the drums. We switch up. He played one song, I played one song. He played one song, I played one song. He was younger than me, but he was killing them drums. So, love Ty Tribbett. I want to do a project with him, a song with him at least. And I love Leandra. Thank you, Leandria, for uh, singing at the wedding. And I saw the thing you did where you, you know, stood your ground when somebody said something about you singing at a, a, a wedding for two women. I loved your response, girl. <laughs> Hell yeah, you better tell the ass what's up. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Uh, man, I'm so blessed. I got a lot going on. Um, this new music gonna be crazy. I can't wait for y'all to hear it and tell me what y'all think. Uh, I got a couple more songs to put on it. Um, and I'll be ready to just put it out. Because I ain't put out music in a minute. But it's always such bullshit sometimes when you got, like, the label and they asking you to do this and they want you to do that. Like, I don't want to do any of that anymore. So, paying for shit out of pocket is expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Because whether it does great or not, you know that you put forth the effort to do it yourself. And it's a reward in itself anyway. Because the body of work is so fucking amazing. So, um, I'm excited about it. Um, oh, uh, my shoe collection is coming out Friday. And I collaborated with Rock Deep. Sick ass shoe company. And I think I'm going to show y'all some of my few of my shoes I got rocking. I don't know if y'all can see these. Pop this off of here. See which one. These the ones I showed y'all earlier. These are called Energy. I showed y'all them earlier and I was wondering, um, what y'all thought about those. I'm trying to think, should I just post them um, one by one on the thing? They're not that clear. These ones are called Chaos. Because there's just a lot going on. It's different patterns and materials, and I love the soles on these. Wait till you see them in person. It's a beautiful shoe, y'all. Beautiful shoe. I'm so excited about them, too. Um, then right here, we got the kaleidoscope. You know I had to do it. Had to do a kaleidoscope shoe. I had to do a kaleidoscope shoe. It's colorful. It's doing this thing. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Huh. I had posted these. I had these on in the picture when I did my post to tell y'all about the shoe. 
This the she-wolf right here. They was loving this green. When I tell you these bitches is so comfortable, the she-wolf, this right here, is everything. If it, you know how when you get home, you want to just take your shoes off? Man, I had came home, I had wore these. I ain't even care that I took my shoes off. I was like, yo, I ain't even took my shoes off. Yeah, usually, I'm like, get these shoes off. I'm going to take these shoes off. And last but not least, I love the uh, sole on this, for real. This is called Gravity. I can't wait for y'all to see these shoes in person, man. They look so good. They are everything, and they are comfortable. Now, this is only my first collection, so... <laughs> it's gonna be crazy first collection i'm proud of it i'm happy about it i'm grateful for rock deep letting me do my thing rocky thank you so much today is wednesday y'all got two days left okay i'm gonna put it all up on my uh it's gonna be on my social media it's gonna be on my site you're gonna hit that link it's gonna take you to rock deep site and you could buy them shoes, you know what I'm saying? So it's the shoes are limited now. So don't think once once they sell out, they sold out, and we moving on to the next collection. So when they come out, you better try to get them while you can. Um, we doing a hundred of each size. So of each size, not each shoe, a hundred of each size. Um, Rocky, you in here? You want to come on with me right quick? So we can answer any questions anybody got about the shoe. I'm trying to find a little thing where people say they want to join. You want to do a song for me? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let me see. Is it a request? View request. Um, Savage. The Official Phoenix. Chris Edwards. Kingdom Bridget McWilliams. Bridget McWilliams. Classy Sierra. Monica. Unique Star. Rocky, boy, where you at? Natasha Jones, Renee. Let me see what he's talking about. Bella, what you doing? Jump on here. I'm finna just talk. Say what's up. I pushed the button. How you doing? What's happening? How you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Look. No, I can't complain. I can't complain. Let me go to the light. Let me go to the light. Hold up. <laughs> What's going on with you? Bored. Waiting for my friends to come over. And then what y'all going to do? You really want to know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We going gonna to smoke. That's what we going to do. That's what's up. Where you from? I hear your accent. Virginia, Newport News. Okay. We gonna smoke. That's what we gonna do, nigga. <laughs> yes. Hey, that, that's a good little party. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, we stand in the house. It's raining here, and it's, it's just nasty outside today. And that, then that's what you gotta do. Stay in the house and smoke and drink. <laughs> exactly. See, I don't drink like that, but I do okay. smoke. And I had some edibles that put me on my ass last night. Ooh. And that's why I'm sitting up here now. Slump. You know the edibles will put you on your ass. They sure will. They do. I can't do them. I can't do them, especially when I got something to do, because they, they don't went off quick enough. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, my homegirl, she told me she makes three exotic strands in this brownie. The brownies are not... These little bitty ass... Look how small this brownie is. Uh-uh. This thing will knock you <laughs> I had three last night. Do you know I was supposed to go out and party for my homegirl's birthday and everything? 
I was uh -huh. sleep before nine o'clock. I woke up at seven this morning, like clothes on and everything. Yeah, you got to be careful and start off with a small amount because you don't know how much or how strong the shit is that's in it. Right. You better take one bite and just give it time. <laughs> Exactly. Most people, people be like, I don't feel nothing. It ain't working. Give exactly. it some time. <laughs> exactly. That's what I said, too. <laughs> Your ass sleep. You were asleep, wasn't you? I was knocked out. And look, I'm coming to Georgia tomorrow. Oh, that's what's up. All right. Coming to look at yeah, three I'm houses. Well, I'm coming to look at a couple of houses. Oh, that's what's up. Come on in, doing them big things. I have some businesses I want to open, you know. That's Trying what's to move up. under the radar. <laughs> that's what's up. George is the place to do it too. Congratulations. Yeah, that's what. Um, and then my kids, they want to do modeling. So yeah. yeah. So I be I already put an offer in, but it's some houses I want to look at. So we're gonna see. <laughs> that's what's up. I'm sure you'll find some. It's got to be some, not you. Yeah, I have family down there too. So. Oh, that's good. So you already good if you need help with the kids or anything like that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My kids are older too. I have a 17 year old, a 12 year old, and a nine year old, and I'm a grandma. Oh, damn, nigga. And I'm only 37. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. It'd be like that. It'd be like we, that. We I make gotta you do know they all straight. <laughs> they all straight, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. All right, well, let me help. Let me I know. Let the other next people try to get on. All right, you have a good All right, you too, babe. All right, bye. Bye. see now I'll do this shit again I'll go back down to the thing how do you see the people that might want to oh wait is these no you invite these people to join I don't want to invite nobody to join let's see what and am I inviting people to join that ain't how it's supposed to go it's got to be a, what a list of people that want to join what up, mama? <laughs> what up? What up, doing? Yo, I don't and even know what to do. She don't even read her comments. She don't even read her comments. Yeah, your brother over there. Because I can't saying. see the motherfuckers that. <laughs> what she say? What she say? What she say? KP. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> Tell that nigga because I can't read them motherfuckers. That's why. <laughs> I see her. I see. Hey, I, I, I see you take them goddamn readers off, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> and my glasses. There they broke. go. <laughs> <laughs> there they go. <laughs> and my glasses broke. I love and you. And I got a buzz. And, and I got a buzz. Right, right, right. I feel you. What's good? What y'all doing? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? I'm going to see you tomorrow. Dang, why I'm you ain't here with yet? My British, with my British knights and sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them motherfuckers. <laughs> Two of them motherfuckers. <laughs> Two pair. You understand? That's good. Give That's me funny. two pair. That's funny. <laughs> Man, listen. Y'all have, have no idea what we're like talking this. about. Sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. If you pull up, I can't wait to see you. Though. <laughs> you gonna maybe try to find you some for real? Be like, nigga, with your British knife. No, at? you don't understand. You said that. That's why I asked for the sizes. <laughs> I'm looking for him. I'm coming with. I'm comparing <laughs> gifts tomorrow. <laughs> If we gotta walk around with Brillo pads and BKs, we gonna be twinning out this mug. That <laughs> was a joke. No, nigga, don't you do that. <laughs> they gonna be like, "Oh, you is y'all is high for real." <laughs> y'all at the airport? Yep. Y'all, we doing what y'all doing? We gonna meet up with y'all tomorrow. Okay. You been running though. You need some rest. Man, when y'all get sick. New York still. Huh? I'm in New York still. I know. I saw your yeah. text. Yeah, I we'll be back. Um, we'll be back in the morning though. Hopefully, if not, we'll yeah. be back in the afternoon. We we'll probably beat y'all back. Huh? We'll probably beat you all back. We'll be there before you get done. If we could catch the early one right after Tamara Hall, 
we can get back like around That's two-ish. Dope. But it, is that but live? We, is she yeah. live or is she, is we she delayed? This, we going in there. And then you're going to the airport. Yeah. Sweet. We're going to try to catch watch. that one. It, but if we don't catch that one, you, you can't watch it. You, you're going to be flying, ain't you? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna be there waiting on you. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what you sipping on? <laughs> Is that a martini? Happy dog? juice. Happy, Happy juice. juice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all. That, that's all that matters. You happy, right? I'm not trying to steal you from the fans. They trying to have conversations with you. I just want to mess with you. But you, I promise you, don't be surprised. We coming. I've been looking. I'm going to find some BKs, and I'm going to have Target deliver some Brillo. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it was a joke. Don't do that. This oh, is so all right, long. I love you, man. Y'all have a safe trip. Tell her Absolutely. Y'all love him. We love, love you. Y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. All right, bye. Oh, Lord. That was my sister, Kelly Price. <laughs> oh, she asked me, was it a dress code tomorrow to, to the uh, to the screening? And I'm like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> Wear some Brillo pants and some British knights. And it's been like an ongoing joke. This bitch been looking for British knights. <laughs> like, crazy. I can't put in my broke time. These actually ain't broke. These is the millennial Tom Fords now. Okay? You only need one arm. Who's called arm here? All I need is one arm. And that way they just sit. Bam. Am I, is the game on right now? Is the game on right now, y'all? Melba Moore on here? No, she not. Melba Moore? Girl, shut up. Melba Moore, I love Melba Moore. You know what? Oh, it was an old TV show. I think it was called Hotel. It was called Hotel. Child Melba Moore had a song called Read My Lips. Gary always talk about Melba Moore on our show, too. We love Melba Moore. Hey, Melba Moore. It's Brad. I didn't even know you know who I was. Oh. Bossy Kiara back. What's up, Bossy Kiara? Y'all keep getting on and going off. Get your ass on here and stay on here if you're going to be on here. Brad Love Judy come out tomorrow. The premiere Brad Love Judy is tomorrow on WeTV, 9A Central. If you want to see the wedding, if you want to see all types of juiciness in between, that's what Eva say on her, um, when she do her thing on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. I do the Ricky Smiley Morning Show every single morning. Shout out to the crew and cast of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ricky, Eva, Gary, Special K, Beyonce, Kim, Derek, Super Dave, and Anthony. Uh, engineer so shout out to everybody up there shout out to head crack head crack got a boxing match in florida and it's gonna be good it's saturday so we're going out to support him you know we support each other we family um and then i do dish nation i do dish nation with gary and sherry shepherd and chewy and tan thompson you know and head crack so you know and then I get uh, makeup, and then I probably have to film something. Stay busy, man. Life is too short, so we're going to stay busy, keep doing our thing. In the meantime, in between time, though, Brad Love Judy. Tomorrow, 9 8 Central on WeTV Thursday. Set your DVRs. If you don't set your DVR and you don't get to watch it, you're going to miss it. Now, the DVR is important because if it's set for growing up hip-hop already, Growing up, hip hop ain't coming on no more right now. Your girl is there and her wife, okay? The two, uh, the dynamic duo, nah. The two, gotta get get a cold last name for us. Um, 
I think of it. It'll be something fabulous. <laughs> Wait, go back, go to state what? Boston, Boston, one hundred five, Golden State. How many, how many minutes left in the game? It's the fourth quarter. How's Miss Juicy? Oh, I love Miss Juicy. I haven't talked to Miss Juicy, man. I did check on her though when she, um, I first heard she was sick. I checked on her. I think I talked to her a couple times, but I haven't talked to her recently. But I saw she did a post on Instagram, and thank God. She is doing better and she is healing. So I don't want to bother her. I don't want to stress her out because when I called, they said she was getting a little excited because I love Miss Juicy. And um, I think it was making her blood pressure go up. So I didn't want to do that. And I felt bad. I made her blood pressure go up. So I'm just giving it a little time before I reach back out to her. But I do know she's doing better because she posted on her page. Y'all go to her page and send Miss Juicy some love and tell her that brat love her because I do. And I'll tell her too. She gonna be wanting to be at the thing tomorrow, y'all. You know, Miss Juicy will show up talking about I'm finna be here and she'll start singing. Miss Juicy will sing a song to your ass real quick. Um Brad Love Judy tomorrow. We T V, nine eight central. Set your DVRs. It is not growing up hip hop. It's Brat Love Judy. And I'm dropping new music tomorrow. Uh produced by R. Dot Fisher. It's a collaboration with myself and he wrote a band. And it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm very proud of this piece of work. And then Friday, I'm dropping some new shoes. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> dropping some new shoes. So I think the shoe I'm dropping Friday called Proud. I ain't showed y'all that one yet. But it's called Proud. It fits perfectly for the occasion, for the culture, for my life. Proud. For my hair, proud, full of pride, and proud about it. <laughs> yes, I like that. Set them DVRs, dropping new music tomorrow, dropping a new sneaker collection Friday. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your sister, tell your brother. Cause we got shoes for all of them, okay? And it's enough copies of this music for them to stream it too, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna be dropping a fruit, a fruit, a fruit, a fourth course seven years ago. Damn, <laughs> I got stuck. I'm gonna be dropping a few freestyles. You know, I'm gonna have some great collaborations. <sighs> I love me some Kelly Price. I do. I love Fantasia. <laughs> I love Dondria. I love Nivea. Their voices, you know. I love Brandy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Yellow Beezy. Mm-hmm. I love Kevin Gates. Mm-hmm. I love Usher. Oh, I love Usher. His kids are so beautiful. He's so beautiful. Oh, man. Well, I feel like I've been on here for a long time. I don't know if I've been on this long in a long time, y'all. But I want to thank y'all for supporting me and my wife, supporting me, you know, even before me and my wife got connected. Thank y'all for supporting me since the 90s. And I'm so blessed to still be, like, thriving and doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people don't make it, you know. People that had songs out back then, some of them have passed away. And you ain't heard from them in years. Even if they are alive, they ain't making no music. They ain't still in the game. So I'm blessed to still be here, to still be talking to y'all, seeing y'all. I'm blessed to do the Ricky Smiley Morning Show every morning of my life for the past almost 10 years. Um, I'm blessed to do Dish Nation because you get to see my face there. You know, um, I'm blessed to be married to a beautiful woman that has shown me other things in life that I've never thought I've seen. Um, I learned so much from her. Um, I'm married. Never thought I would be married. Um, I'm, I'm executive producing my own TV show and a few other shows. I have an amazing agent who is getting me some amazing things that I've always wanted to do. I'm doing an voice animation um, and I'm doing movies and <laughs> like 